Hello, thanks for listening to the 2019 winter season of Clipson Out Loud, a collection of podcasts produced through Clipson Magazine. Throughout this series, our reporters will be diving into the theme of passages. I'm your host, Aileana Daly. Today, my friends and I will be going to Icicle Brewing Company to sample some different types of their beer. Before each sample is tasted, I will be giving a little background on each beer style, and then my friends will actually taste each beer a little bit later and give their opinions. The first beer style we'll be sampling is a pilsner, which is a type of lager with strong hops. Generally, German pilsners tend to be lighter and drier than others. So the first beer that we're trying is a cross-cut pilsner. It's a lighter beer. Um, Initial taste is very smooth with a kind of a citrusy aftertaste. Not very hoppy, but it goes down very well. And the aftertaste is kind of a subtle, um, sweet type taste. Next, we have ambers. Ambers have a distinct darker color. Essentially, an amber is just amber malt that's brewed with a pale ale. The second beer we've tasted is the Dirty Face Amber. It's a darker beer. It smells a little malty. Um, Initial taste is kind of thick, but very smooth. The aftertaste, you get kind of a hoppy hit, but not too overwhelming where it's unbearable. It's very delicious. The next beer we'll be sampling is an IPA, which stands for India Pale Ale. These tend to be hoppier and have a higher alcohol content. So for our third sample of beer, we have the Boot Jack IPA. And initially on the nose, you're going to get that really nice citrus, um, really jam-packed hoppiness to it as well. And especially on the palate, you really get that too. And floral notes as well. The next beer is a special German chocolate cake ale, which is Icicle Brewing's winter seasonal beer. And after that first taste, you can really feel it on your tongue, and it goes down smoothly across the back. And then that chocolatey, that chocolate cake taste is really prominent throughout. Mexican style lagers, which have recently become a trend in the United States, they're known for being smooth and crisp. The fifth beer we will be tasting today is a collab beer of Icicle Brewing and Wander Brewing, and it's the Cerveza de Promenade, a Mexican lager. And initially, the smell is very citrusy, like almost uh, like comparable to lemons. And on the taste, it's very bubbly across the tongue, and the citrus is still there almost overwhelmingly so. For our sixth beer, we are trying the Tres Hombres Mexican Lager. That's a limited release for Ice School Brewing Company. And initially on the color, it's actually a very gorgeous color. You can kind of see a little bit of blush in there with that nice brown amber tones. Um, And on the palate, it's very smooth and refreshing. Um, I can definitely see myself drinking this on Cinco de Mayo. Next, we have a Citra Pale Ale. Basically, this just means that it's a pale ale with an extra citrusy flavor. For our seventh beer, we're doing the Kickstand Citra Pale Ale. It's a very lighter color beer. Um, Initial taste is very hoppy, followed by a heavy dose of citrus. Kind of refreshing in the sense, and the hops aren't too overwhelming, where you could probably sip this all day long and be okay. It's a little heavier, so um, it kind of fills you up, but not too bad. It'd be a good summer beer to sip on. The next beer is another pale ale, but it's different because Icicle Brewing uses 100 pounds of fresh hops on the day they're picked to brew this fresh beer. The eighth beer we'll be tasting this evening is the Apris Harvest, which on the first smell is very sweet, maybe a little malty too, just that natural beer smell, I guess. And then on the first taste, it's very smooth. However, the taste itself doesn't, it's not as strong as the smell. Um, I think it would just be like a little bit better, it'd really go over the top if that taste matched the smell. But it's good. The beers we tasted today were some of Icicle Brewing's most popular. However, they generally have about nine beers on tap, and they also have about 40 beers that they've brewed in the past that are either in hiding, as those at Icicle say, or retired. There are also nearly 20 styles of German beer, and Icicle Brewing has brewed a vast majority of them. You've been listening to the 2019 winter season of Clipson Out Loud. For more stories, please visit our website at www.clipsonmagazine.com. Thanks for tuning in.